Manchester. I've never been to Manchester before. I'm super, super excited. Um, the main reason we are going is because we're doing a charity trek. We are heading to the Lake District on Friday to do the trek for Saturday. It's going to be an all-day thing. It's for charity. We wanted to, to um, elongate this holiday just a little bit. Technically not a holiday, but we just wanted to spend the day in Manchester, do some shopping because I'm going away soon. So I wanted to buy a few things from Zara and Primark. And then we're going to eat some lunch and then have a yummy dinner. We actually hired a car, which we've never done before. So Sam's going to be driving the UK. I've managed to drive the UK just fine. Um, and I'm so sure Sam's going to be okay. But I was literally like, I didn't even know how to get into like fifth gear. This is the outfit I'm traveling in. So I've got my Shein vest top. I bought these for my holiday. I got them in white and brown. And the quality is literally like Zara. It's so good. Um, and then I've got my Pull and Bear oversized hoodie. I will pop this on after. But I'm literally roasting from like walking around. Um, and then I've just got a little black bag. Some Gymshark black leggings. These are the waffle ones I got for Christmas I absolutely love them got my Reebok platform trainers as well this is the bag that I'm gonna have to wear <laughs> um, it's got all my like tech stuff like all my chargers my go to me my laptop all my spare batteries for my camera um so yeah this is my travel outfit I think we're ready to go so let's go <laughs> Bad tummy ache. <laughs> and I had a really bad tummy ache yesterday. I had the, you know, and I still got it today. And I'm really nervous about the trek. What was if I still got it? I don't even know. I think it's because the sad thing is because I have too much caffeine. And I think that might be the case. We just had a coffee. And that's gone straight through me like water. Guys, I'm so hungry. The queue is so long for the food. So we just had a protein bar. I got a gingerbread man. Gingerbread man? Gingerbread protein bar. Hi guys, we have arrived in Manchester and we are in our hire car. It actually looks really nice. Um, it is a Citroen C C3. C3. And it is so clean, it's black, so it's perfect. I was really dreading like a red car or something. Turn left, Ringway Road, then at the end of the road, turn left, A555, Ringway Road West. So it comes with a GPS, which is so good and so ideal because we were a bit nervous that I'd have to use like the GPS on my phone, but now I'm like more relaxed that I don't at have the to. End of the road. And we um, didn't need to get our suitcases because we've got hand luggage. Um, so we got off the plane and then we went straight to the bus and then we got um, the bus to the rental place and now we're here. I'm not gonna lie, but from the outside it kind of looks like a mum and dad car. So it's kind of fitting because we're gonna go on a hike. But yeah, we are um, on our way to the hotel. Uh, we can't actually go and check in yet until three o'clock. So we're gonna just park in the car park nearby and then go for lunch because I'm absolutely starving um, and then do some shopping. So Sam did his first roundabout and is this your first time driving on a motorway? Yeah. So he's doing really well. I remember I used to panic so bad. So basically we're driving, we're just following a police car at this moment and he's literally going the same way. But it's making me so nervous. It says max 40. He's going like 70. Yeah, because he's a police guy, does whatever he wants. Yeah, I as quick as No, don't, because he'll be like, You're breaking the speed limit! <laughs> 
we have arrived in the car park and I just wanted to show you the car. I don't want to show you the reg number. But this is the car. It looks so cute, doesn't it? It's nice and black. My face is so white. Are you happy we've arrived finally? Yep. Yes, it literally took like 10 minutes to like sort out the parking. We had to download the app and everything, but we're here. Okay, we're gonna go to a sushi place called where? Uh, Wazuzi. Wazuzi. I'm so keen for sushi right now. So keen. I'll see you when we get there. So many good things on the menu. Look, they got tabuyaki, which is like the balls, and then they've got mm, they've got so many good dishes here. Dried salmon fried rice. That looks so good. Time for some bubble tea. We've got soya milk as well. Got the bubble tea. I've literally waited since November since we last had one. Right guys, I actually have to do a voiceover here because the music was so loud and I would definitely get copyrighted. It was hurting my ears to be honest. So I was basically going through what we got. So we got a um, milk tea. This is a non-dairy creamer, which is perfect for me, especially when you're lactose intolerant. Um, we got extra tapioca, which is the best thing about it. And also coconut jelly. I could have done without that because it wasn't the best. But oh, it was so good. We get less ice and we get less sweet. And it's the best way to get it. So yeah, head to chai time. It was so good. If you love bubble tea, this place is for you. Mmm, so good. We're walking to our table now. I'm like full on bubble tea now. <laughs> But hopefully our table's ready, so we're on our way. So we got the menu here, and luckily they have calories on. I was literally stressing out, but they literally have calories. And then some of the rice dishes and noodle dishes are like 1,000, 2,000 calories. <laughs> so sushi, they have like the plain ones with like prawn and like salmon. It's like 83 calories, so it's not too bad. So I can get like four of those. It's like this tuna roll, it's 235 pounds. But it's so much cheaper than Jersey, so. Okay, when I get something, I'll come back. So the first item we got is the Inari tofu. I absolutely love this. It is tofu wrapped in rice. Okay. So we're gonna dip it in the soy sauce. Dip it. And I'm just gonna do one mouthful. Why am I so zoomed in? First mouthful. Mm. That rice is so fresh. Okay, next one is Tamago Nigiri. So it is a sweet omelette. Can you see? Focus. It is a sweet omelette. And then you just dip it in some soy sauce, just a little bit. And it's so good. So good. I tried to make this one time and it turned out well slimy. Okay, next item is the salmon. Can you see the salmon? It's got it's a seared salmon, and then it's got some kiwi mayo on it. Mm. Mm. It's so fresh. Okay, so we've got. Oh, yes, thank you. So we've got the prawn one, and this is like something that I've not had before. It's got some green eggs on there too. So it might be some sort of like fish roe. Um, it looks so good. I think it's a raw prawn. Sam, are you going to be okay with this raw prawn? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to dip it in some soy sauce. Should I put some wasabi in there? Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
so that was really good if you like something really simple and you're not used to like sushi i'd recommend that one but if you're not used to like raw prawns then maybe not but it's nice and bland you know but the wasabi just makes it now we got this one look how good that is it kind of reminds us of the unagi dragon unagi is like eel like barbecued eel Okay. Kind of so it's like this. Right here. It looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's so good. The unagi is lovely. The sauce, the teriyaki sauce is our favourite, it's so good. Right, we just finished our lunch and when she gave us the bill we were like, um, what did you say? We are like, is this our bill? Are you sure? But turns out it was. It was only £25 for like 15 plates and usually we spend like £40 for like 10 plates. And that's just mad to work. We're walking to the shopping centre now. We're getting to the centre, so I'm gonna stop vlogging now because I'm so embarrassed. Urban, and there's so many nice items here, which I love this. But I always just go for like this is nice. This nice over a, a bikini or something. That would look so good. Okay, we're in Holland Barracks because we need snacks for the trek. I found there's protein bars and hip peas in here. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? So I asked my TT what snacks does he recommend for the trek? And he said, anything carby is fine because I'll burn it off anyway. So we need to find some good snacks that aren't too high calorie but still yummy. So I'm thinking grenade bars, they're on that side. Flapjacks. Flapjack. Could do flapjack. I need to stop putting fingers in my mouth because COVID. Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side. Okay, this is more like it. We love a good protein bar. So obviously, um, a mint. I love a good mint one. Peanut nutter. Oh wait, no. White chocolate peanuts run out. That's <laughs> your favorite. I might get that. Vanilla, chocolate these ones I think this would be quite good right so we're back with another voiceover because the music was ridiculously loud and I definitely get copyrighted honestly why do they keep doing this to me so basically we're at Wingstop and I've been dying to go to Wingstop since London last year and we decided to get the boneless Korean fried chicken the Brazilian um, hot wings and then the original so um, we got a mixture just to like try all the flavors um, so we got gloves as well but we thought what a waste so we washed our hands because they gave you a sink right next to us um, so we just did that we originally wanted the honey mustard sauce because we thought oh that would be the healthiest turns out it was literally like 200 calories for one tub um, or was it no, 300 calories and then we so instead of we got the um, ranch and blue cheese sauce and they were much less than calories i think there was like 100 calorie per tub um so yeah let's get right into it so basically i tried the original first oh you could definitely taste the grease um because it definitely sat on your lips but it was so good i think this was my favorite so far well it was my favorite overall i think because it was just such a delicious flavor um, and then um, there was no actual seasoning on it, but it was so good. Okay, and next is the Brazilian one. Um, this was kind of sour, spicy. I would say it wasn't my favorite um, because of the flavoring. It just wasn't hitting the spot. So then, oh, this is the best one, guys. I'm not even joking. So it was the Korean fried chicken. Um, there was no bones. So if you don't like bones, this is perfect. But oh, it was so saucy, so flavorful, so, mm, so good. That batter was just incredible. But I'm not going to lie, they give you three for one portion. Um, but I would say one is way more than enough. I'm literally just editing this video. <laughs> 
and my mouth is literally watering just watching me eat <laughs> my mouth is literally salivating okay back to the video We have arrived at the hotel, we've just checked in. We are in the lift. Am I super zoomed? Yes, I am. Um, the ladies were so nice and the hotel is so nice. Um, I'm gonna do a room tour when we get in. And then yeah, let's go. This is the bathroom. <gasps> this is the first time I'm seeing it as well. Oh my God, it's so clean. Oh, it looks so good. So, nice shower, mirror, beautiful sink and set up here, I love that. Um, they've got the towels, they've got the soap, they've got this wardrobe area here. There's a full mirror and I absolutely hate when they don't have full mirrors, it's just like so inconvenient. Um, we've got the TV, we've got an amazing round mirror over there. And then we've got a massive room, we've got chairs, table, we've got a massive bed. Uh, we've got bedside tables. Let's see if we can see the view outside. Is there a view? We shall see. Oh, wow, look at the view. Oh, it looks so good. So that is the room tour. It's very nice in here. The hotel is lovely. The people are lovely. Um, the gym is 24 hours, so I'll be heading to the gym tomorrow morning. I did not realize there was a gym, but I will be using the shorts that I'll be wearing um on my trek to the gym tomorrow and also i'm going to wear some new trainers that i bought today so yes i am going to unpack and i'll see you after Hello, we are back at the hotel now. It is so late right now, it is 10 to 10. Um, it's been a very long day, I'm absolutely exhausted. I got up at half three this morning. Good night, I'll see you in the morning. So apparently, they've set it up and no one ever uses it. Look, oh my god, I'm doing like a full thing. Oh my god, look, rowing machine, they've got cables, rowing, that thing, <laughs> the eclipto, eclipto, um, cycling. Oh my god, actually, no one uses the gym, and you can literally see the street from there. But look how cool this gym is, they've got weights and everything. Wow, so it is actually leg day today. No, it's upper body day today, so I'm gonna do upper body. I missed leg day yesterday, but it's probably best that I don't do leg day just because I'm doing a trek tomorrow. So I'm going to do upper body. It's gonna be shoulders and chest, or shoulders and back, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah. So this is the gym fit. I'm wearing Nike t-shirt, black, um, Adapt Gymshark shorts, they are so nice. They literally make your butt look good. Um, and then I'm wearing a Gymshark bra. I'm super bloated from all the food yesterday. Then I'm wearing my new trainers. So these are the Adidas ones I got. They're so nice. They're literally like 100 pounds. I got them for 40 pounds from TK Maxx. They're so good. Um, yeah, that's the outfit.
morning everybody it is 5 30 in the morning we're on our way to meet everybody else at the hostel we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna head out and we're gonna get going for about half six so we can get to the mountains at seven and then we're gonna start walking and start our big day so yes i shall take you along with me so let's go I'm at the back, so there's no one here really, so I can film. We're walking up the hill. We're getting to the top part now, so we're walking straight. So it's been okay so far, but it's going to need to get, well, it's going to get harder because we're going up. Met some nice people so far. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Are you about me? Oh yeah, of course I am. <laughs> Harry likes the camera too, so I feel comfortable filming. <laughs> okay, I'll see you when we're halfway up the, the hill. We're literally going uphill now, and we're exhausted with my quads, my knees, my back. How are you finding it, honey? Not too bad so far. Oh god. It's tiring, but. And super right. sweaty as well. Taking a lay off, but. We're only like 10 minutes into going up. It's like an hour. Okay. I can't talk, I speak. <laughs> That we've achieved something here it was so good but i've got such bad tummy cramps now because all i've eaten today is protein bars and i don't think that sat very well no nutrition no nutrition really um but we stopped at the um station and we got a vegan cheese panini and a coffee and also some mango as well but we're literally going to be going to go five guys so i'm going to hold off after 200 yards um we are going to check in our hotel, put on some warm clothing because I'm freezing. Oh my God, I literally tried to walk to go to Costa and I, I'm, I couldn't walk properly. It literally looked like I trained legs for about four days Turn straight. Turn left, reached your destination. Oh, it's a Saturday night, it's going to be well busy. Oh, so we're here where we were on the mountain over there. Oh, okay. Next to one plus. You have reached your oh, destination. Yeah. <laughs> Korean barbecue? <laughs> so there's 24 hours parking here. We're going to check in the hotel and then I'll see you after. 
So guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to turn on that notification button on so you get notified when I next post. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.